In this video, you'll learn about the KeyPass XC Password Manager, learn how to create encrypted password databases, import passwords from your browser, synchronize them on your smartphone, figure out how to use KeyPass XC's two-factor authentication codes, and finally, you will understand how easy it is to keep personal data safe. Using the same and easy to guess passwords is the biggest mistake when using online services. If you get hacked on one of the sites, the attacker could potentially gain access to all of your accounts. But using different passwords for different websites is very difficult to remember or to securely store them. KeyPass stores passwords in an encrypted database, so you only need to remember one master password. In addition, you can use a key file with a random number of random bytes. KeyPass is an open source project, meaning each user on the internet can open the program's repository and evaluate its reliability. To get started with KeyPass, go to its official website and download the installer. KeyPass is available for all desktop operating systems, but we'll show you how to use the app's features on mobile devices as well. Thoroughly check the link of the website on which you download the app. The domain of the real site looks like this. If you download the app on its cloned, fraudulent website, you risk losing data. Now let's launch the KeyPass XC app. You'll see a pop-up window in which you'll be prompted to create a new password database or import an existing one. We will create a new one. The first step is to name your database. Add a description if you use many databases and you are afraid to get confused in them. Select the desired encryption options and click continue. For an ordinary user, it is enough to leave all options on default, or simply increase the decryption time by a few seconds. Come up with a strong master password for your database. It will become the key that grants access to all your accounts. You can generate the random password of any complexity using the password generator by clicking on the dice. The safest thing is to write down the generated password on a piece of paper and hide it in a safe place. The first few days it will be difficult to remember it, but over time you will get used to it and will always remember it. You can also create a key file in addition to the master password. Without it, no one will be able to access the database, even if they know the master password. The key file can consist of any type of data, whether it's a character combination in a text document, a picture of your cat, or even your favorite song. But you must make that file not suspicious to the hackers. But be sure to make a backup copy of the key file, as any damage to the host drive can permanently block the access to your database. When creating your database, you'll be prompted to save the file on your computer and complete the process by clicking Done. It is better to choose a deep root folder for storing passwords than to keep the database on the desktop. Now you need to fill the database with passwords and account information. In the menu, select Add New Entry or press the key combination Ctrl plus N. All the useful keyboard shortcuts can be found in the description. Enter a title for your entry. Fill the username and password fields. For convenience, add the website address in the URL field and enter a note that contains additional information about your account. For example, answers to key questions like what was your cat's name or what was your mother's maiden name. You can add favicons to your entries to find them quicker in a huge database. To do this, click on Download. You can import passwords from your browser to existing databases or create a new one with them. To do this, go to Settings in Google Chrome. Go to the Auto Type section and click on Passwords. Click on the three dots and select Export Passwords. Agree to the disclaimer that pops up and save the file to your computer. Now all your accounts are imported as a separate Excel file on your computer. You can combine the resulting base in the KeyPass settings. And of course, you can also use KeyPass to store your seed phrase. This way of storing will be better than saving it to saved messages in Telegram. But we do not recommend that you do this. Remember that the safest and the preferred way of storing a seed phrase is to store it offline, for example written down on a piece of paper or remembered in your head. The easiest way to remember a seed phrase is to make up a small story from it, which you will repeat several times a day to engrave it into your memory. The last thing to do is to separate the created entries into groups in order to find them faster. To do this, right-click on the root folder and click New Group. Specify the name and description for the new group, for example social media or centralized exchanges. 
The search field determines whether the accounts in this folder will be indexed by KeePass's internal search engine. The auto type field is responsible for the key combination that will be used to automatically enter account information on the linked site. We'll talk more about this feature later in this video. What remains is to transfer existing entries to a new folder. Open the root folder with passwords and holding the left mouse button drag the accounts you need to a new subsection. The easiest way to use KeePass database is to manually copy the username and password to log in. To do this, open the database and find the account you need in the list. Open the website where you will be logging in. To do this, you can open it yourself in a browser or through KeePass by right-clicking on the account and selecting Open URL. After you got the authorization window on the site, return to the KeePass application and copy the login. To do this, press the right mouse button and select Copy Username. Do the same thing with the password. Know that KeePass stores the data on the clipboard for only 10 seconds. So if you step away from your computer, no one will be able to find out your password. KeePass can also automatically fill in the login and password. You just need to figure out how it works and you no longer will have to manually fill in the information. The auto type feature allows you to quickly fill in your account information on the site with just a few clicks. To begin with, let's try to use auto type for logging into Instagram. Open the KeePass settings. In the Auto Type tab of the General section, set a hotkey that will start Auto Type and click OK. We chose Ctrl plus Alt plus A since it was used in previous versions of KeePass. Open the Account Editor window or double click on the desired account. In order for the program to understand which site to enter the data on, the title of the site must be specified in the Record Name section. The title can be found by hovering the mouse over the tab in the browser. In our case, the record name should be Instagram. Go to the auto type section and make sure that the enable auto type for this entry box is checked, then click OK. It remains to check if auto type works properly. To do this, go to the site, left click on the login field and press the hotkey to activate auto type. As a result, Autotype will fill in your username and password for you. However, this only works if the login and password fields are on the same page of the site. For example, when logging into a Google account, you must first enter your email address and then press enter, and only on the next page you would enter your password. In this case, to use Autotype, open the Autotype settings for a specific account and set the radio button to use a custom Autotype sequence. The initial combination consisted of typing in the login, pressing tab to go to the next field, entering the password and pressing enter. Let's try to adjust this combination to log into a Google account. The sequence in this case consists of entering a login, clicking on next to go to the next page, entering a password and clicking on next to enter. In this case, pressing tab will not work for us. You should take notice that auto type actions are performed very quickly and if a transition to a new page is necessary in the middle of the sequence, you should set an auto input delay. Otherwise, the data will not be filled in correctly. Let's go back to the auto type settings and edit the sequence of actions. Each action is enclosed in curly brackets. Instead of tab, type in enter. And as the third action, we add delay 3000. This command will suspend the execution for the sequence for 3000 milliseconds, which is equal to 3 seconds. You should get a sequence that resembles this one. Now we can use Autotype for Google accounts as well. KeePass features are available not only in the desktop application, but also in browser extension that can be synchronized with your database. To do this, download the KeePass XC extension for your browser. Go to the Browser Integration section in Application Settings and check the Enable Browser Integration box. Then select the browser you will be using and save your changes. Open the KeePass extension in your browser and go to its settings. In the Connected Databases section, click on Connection. Give the connection a name and click Save and Allow Access. If the connection is successful, it will be displayed in the table. Now let's check the performance of our extension. To do this, let's try to create a new account. For example, we will create an account on Wikipedia. You can also create a strong password using the KeePass password generator by clicking on the key icon. After registration, you will get a notification from KeePass in which you need to choose where to secure your account information. If this is the first account on this site, then click New and then specify which section to place the data. The KeePass application allows you to store not only passwords but also generate two-factor authentication codes. 
Such codes help protect your account from data leakage. For example, if you don't use this method on Binance, you risk losing your funds. But safe doesn't mean impractical. KeePass also allows you to store one-time authorization codes right in the application. Just press the Ctrl plus T combination and the code will be copied to the clipboard. If you need to transfer existing two-factor authentication codes to KeePass, then you will first need the ShareX application or any other QR code decoder. Open the Google Authenticator app on your phone, tap on the three dots in the top right corner and select Transfer Accounts. Then select Export Accounts and specify which account you want to add to KeePass. Take a picture of the received QR code on another device and send it to the computer. In the ShareX app, under Tools, select QR Code. Go to the Decode section and scan the previously received QR code. Copy the highlighted code from the output. Open your account and KeePass, click on the right mouse button and select the OTP. Then set up the OTP. In the secret key field, insert the code set from the QR code. You can also insert the two-factor authentication code that is provided to you during the activation of 2FA, for example on CEXs. After saving all the changes, the clock icon should appear next to the account with the connected authentication code. To copy the one-time code for an account, use the Ctrl plus T key combination or select the desired item in the menu. KeePass allows you to transfer the password database to another device in a few simple steps. You just need to copy the encrypted file with the database to a USB flash drive or to send the file via the internet. This is an extremely important feature because it is necessary to periodically back up the database on various devices so that one day you will not lose access to all accounts. After creating a backup, make sure that it opens correctly and do not forget to close the database using the Ctrl plus Q key combination or through the menu. To use the database on a new device, you need to download KeePass and at startup, click open an existing database. Find the resulting file and open it. Enter the master password to the database and enjoy the features that KeePass provides on the new device. KeePass features are also available on Android devices. Databases can be sent via messengers and by email. We will transfer our databases to the cloud storage and synchronize it with the application on the smartphone. To do this, move the database to the Google Drive folder on your computer. Then install KeePass DX application on your smartphone if you have an Android or KeePassium if you have iOS. Actions in both applications will be similar but we will demonstrate them on KeePass DX. Open the application, click Open Existing Database, and find the database file on your Google Drive Cloud Storage. Then enter the password and click Open. Done! The database is running successfully on a mobile device. You are now familiar with the basics for convenient and secure password storage using the KeePass XC application. Subscribe to the Krypton channel and our social media. All links are in the description. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments down below. Support the video by leaving a like and subscribe to our Twitter. The link to it is in the description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.